Hello friends and welcome to another video of Travel Tech. Now this is a rain filled video as you can see it is raining very heavily here and I am shooting this video for all of you guys. I hope you can hear me clearly and also the sound of the rain along with the video. So let's get started. So in this video, I am going to show you how to install the Opera browser on your Digipad. Now previously, I had shown you how to install the Mozilla Firefox browser on your Digipad and also play YouTube via that browser. So if you are looking for an alternate browser on the Digipad in order to browse the internet, either Facebook, Insta, Twitter or Gmail, then you can also use Opera browser which is a kind of a compact browser and a small sized browser and it is very sleek and works really well. So if you are looking out for a browser like that, then this is the video for you. So let's just get ahead and get into the installation of the Opera browser. So the basic thing which you need to do in order to install any app like Opera browser in your Digipad is to make sure that the Digipad is connected to the internet via a Wi-Fi dongle. So if you don't know how to do that, just see my previous videos wherein I have mentioned in detail on exactly how to do that. So if you are watching this video for the first time, I'll just give you a quick glimpse on what to do. You need to buy a Wi-Fi dongle via the dealership or via Amazon online site by which will cost you around about 500 rupees. So buy that and connect the Digipad to the internet via Wi-Fi. Then the second thing which you need to do is to enable the installation of apps from unknown sources. Now if you don't know how to do that, you can again watch my previous videos. You just have to go to the settings of the Digipad and enable the installation of apps from unknown sources. Just watch my previous videos regarding uh, MX player or VLC player or any of my previous videos in order to get to know how to enable that. So once these two things are done, go to the default browser in the Digipad and click on the URL search bar. So once you have opened that, you need to type a URL address which I am going to show you and that is going to be rb.gy slash bxz gsl all small letters so let me just focus it on you so this is the url address it is rb.gy slash bxz gsl so it's a fairly small url address you can remember it and you can type in your digipad url bar so just type in it and wait for the web page to load so the Opera browser with free VPN 14.0.107 has opened, the web page has opened as you can see on the screen right now. So just scroll down the uh, page and click on the button which says here in the red color. So just click there and wait for the download to begin. So it is going to ask you for a uh, dialog box wherein it is going to ask you how to download the app. So if you have installed the ES file manager, it is going to ask this box. If you have not installed it, the download is going to be taken over directly. So in case you have installed, make sure that you do not press the ES downloader and click only on the default browser. So let me show you, I just click on the browser. So if I scroll down the menu from the top, we can see that the Opera browser app has started to download. So let's just wait for the download to complete and I'll show you the installation and the features of the Opera browser. So the download has completed now. So let's just go ahead and I'll show you how to install the browser. So just click on the download complete dialog box and you'll be greeted with a screen which is going to ask you to install the application. Just click on the install button on the down left portion and wait for the application to install itself. So the Opera browser application has installed. So after this, just click on the open button which is given in the lower left corner. So this is the first welcome screen which you are going to see once you install the Opera browser. Now click on the continue button in the center. Now it is going to highlight some of the features of the app. Now one of the first features is the off-road mode. So what happens in this is, if the network slows down or you want to save data, switch to off-road mode. It keeps you connected and loads web pages faster when conditions get rough. So that is the off-road mode. 
followed by a speed dial which means a put all your favorite facts in one place press and hold a favorite to move or remove it drop a favorite on top of another to create a folder so the third feature is the discover feature where you can watch news you can read headlines of the news of the countries of which you are interested in including india so that you can get some content while you are on the go so it's asking to ready asking for if you are ready to see the experience let's just click on the go button here Uh, so this is the home page of the opera browser as you can see there is facebook google insta flipkart amazon and all other websites which you want to browse there are small thumbnails of that and you can also get uh, custom thumbnails or speed dials you can put them according to your convenience whichever website which you prefer to use always so the one more thing which i wanted to show you is you can just scroll to the right ones i mean scroll the page to the left and the right side page opens which shows the discover section wherein we can read the news of any country which you like there is certain news going on here you can do this on the go as well so there's a small settings button here just click on that now the country has been selected as united kingdom so just click on this country scroll down and it is going to be an option called india and wherein there are also certain language options where you have india english gujarati hindi and tamil so there are there are four languages where you can choose in so let me just select india english for now and i'll show you how it turns out so just click on the back button so as you can see the top stories of india are showing right now the news section is showing right now so you can scroll down and you can read the news instantly wherever you are and if you are interested in any article you can click on that and get into the detail of it while being connected to the internet so this is one of the advantages of having the opera browser in your digipad uh, you can read the news on the go so these are the speed dials and if you scroll right you have the history section where you have visited all the previous websites so the next thing which i want to show you is you have the option of tab browsing so you can open multiple tabs so this is the one tab is there now I, if i click on the new tab button there the another tab opens up so right now see you can as you can see here there are two tabs you can use multiple tabs to view multiple web pages which is available in all our android phones as well but right now it is available in also the digipad so let's just get on get on to the opera settings down here so let's just go to settings so there is an option called as navigation bar where you can place the navigation bar on top or bottom of the digipad so new tabs open in the background option is there and off road images you can select if they want to be of the low quality medium or the high quality off road images so there is an option to block the pop ups and accept cookies as well so these are some of the options which are available basic settings are available in the opera browser so the off road mode button is here you can click on this and the off road mode gets enabled wherein it uses very less data so uh, generally when you are browsing with your mobile internet this is going to be very helpful because it is going to use very less data and the amount of image and the amount of web page which is going to load is going to be similar if you had a very proper high speed connection so uh, let me just turn that off road mode off so there you go it is turned off so these are some of the features of the opera browser so This this is the discover button again here you can go to that and this is the history button you can access this along with and there is a downloads button so if you have downloaded something the orders the downloaded file order will be showing up in this page so this is the opera browser guys so you i hope you can like this video so you can use this browser as your browser uh, in digipad while browsing internet you can browse anything you like you can place it on the home screen for easier access wherever you want and you can access the browser on the go So the first thing you need to do is to be connected uh, to the internet and your digipad needs to be connected to the internet you can do that via a wifi dongle by sharing your mobile internet to the wifi dongle via creating a mobile hotspot if you are traveling on a journey or you can get a geo dongle or an airtel dongle you can connect that to the 4g internet and connect your digipad as well so it started raining heavily here i think it's time to close this video and uh, Let's hope you like this video and if you appreciate the work which I'm doing I hope that you subscribe to my channel it's going to be a really great help for me and it will encourage me to bring out more and more interesting videos for you guys so like the video subscribe to my channel and do comment on how you feel and how what you felt after installing the opera browser so thank you guys have a very good day